What's going on internet? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are opening up here today at Apple Valley Speedway. As you can tell, I have the race car behind me. Uh, I was going to bring the demo car out to this event. I'm out here for the Gopher Boys event, but the demo car's hydro is not working. That is something that I'm going to be working on pretty soon because I'm getting tired of this hydro being so inconsistent. So I brought the race car because I thought that it was 100% ready to go, but um, I put the car on the trailer and then I noticed a puddle of fluid, as most of you probably saw on my Instagram story. So, of course, Steven is here with me to the rescue already, but I think that it should be a pretty simple fix. I don't know if you guys remember, but a while ago, probably like almost like a year ago, right? Just about, yeah. You think probably like a year ago. I don't know if you guys remember, but there's a fitting right back here in the back of my engine um, that actually popped out. We replaced it, we tapped a new fitting in here. And we think that this is probably just loose, um, but yeah, my car was dumping coolant everywhere. So we're just fixing that really quick and then we'll get on the track. Loose for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Loose for sure. <laughs> you guys see this puddle of water here right on the ground? You can literally see it's dripping. I ran the car for five seconds to get it off of the trailer, but because of the placement of the puddle, we thought that it was like a smaller hose underneath the lower intake manifold, and then we started taking video with our phones, sticking it down here, and we figured out that this was the fitting that was loose. But um, it's a pain in the ass to service, that is for sure. Remember you said that when we first did this? Yeah. We first did this and you were like, this fitting is going to be a pain in the butt if we ever have to do anything to it. So hopefully it's just the fitting being loose and it's nothing else. But obviously we'll let the car run and make sure that it's fine before I go on the track. Look who decided to show up. Can you see me now? What time is it? Status time. Oh, uh, you're stoked whoop. about your new seat, huh? The new, oh wow, are you a sponsored status driver? Yes. Wow, look at these seats, these are beautiful. So you did like a red carbon vinyl and then a black carbon vinyl with red stitching. That's pretty sick, the status logo is black. What is that, what is that in the middle? What does that say? Are you kidding me, bro? Are you not gonna cut to B-roll? Oh, you want me to cut to B-roll like right yeah. now? Yeah, right, B-roll. <laughs> Sad sight. What a sad sight. But I think that we're almost done over here. I don't know if maybe I'll be able to show you guys a little bit better now, but there is a blue fitting, and you can probably see it right there. That blue fitting was pretty loose. It was like almost like finger loose, so that's where all the foam was coming out of. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Hopefully, crossing our fingers. <laughs> So first initial thoughts, I have literally only been out for one session, but that's about like four laps or so, and I was struggling. Oh my gosh, I haven't driven Apple Valley Speedway in a minute. Um, I really have not driven Apple Valley Speedway in this car in a long time. Like I'm talking about like 
upwards of four months um so of course that's going to take a little bit of adjustment but i think that the issue that i'm having right now is my wheel setup uh i think that my 10 and a half inch carbines in the back are a little bit too much for this track i'm still running a 235 40 18 um tread wear is probably like 400 because i run really high tread wear tires so they last all day and my tire pressure is probably anywhere between 35 to 45 psi so I shouldn't be struggling right now, but I am, and I think that the reason is, is I think that the wheels are just so wide for this track. I'm coming from a 9.75 um, on even higher tread wear tires, so I think that this setup that I have right now just might be a little bit too much for Apple Valley Speedway. So, what I'm planning on doing is switching. I have another set of 10.5s. I have two more 10.5s and, and two more 9.5s. So, the next time, once these tires are done, I'm going to go back out on these and just drive it the way it is. But before I leave today, I want to try the ten and a halfs in the front and the nine and a halfs in the rear and see if that's better for this track specifically. Because um, I think that the car is just too gripped up right now. I'm having a lot of trouble. The car does feel a little bit slow, but I haven't driven it here for a long time. <laughs> This, uh, the wrap, it doesn't work that good. Yeah, but I'm proud of you for being happy about it. Uh, I'm not happy. <laughs> I was proud for a second. Okay. You see, you kind of saved yourself. Yeah. Yep. This one started just falling apart. on the head gasket on this thing. No! But we'll see how it goes. Uh, gonna let it cool down, try to bleed it again, but... Uh, what? Why do you think it blew? Oh, because you... Yeah, my upper radiator hose popped off, and then uh, it just won't keep temps down, so... 
it at? Like, was it? 250. 250. Yeah. That's a lot. So you're I not going to drive this for a minute then? Yeah, I'm going to let it cool down and see what happens. You want to drive my car instead? If you're down. <laughs> it's been solid, so you can do it if you want to. <laughs> I'm already ready. <laughs> already ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh, feels weird being in the passenger seat. Gotta hate harnesses. <laughs> I know, aren't they the worst? So for whatever reason, there's like a boost leak. It's um, super laggy. Yeah, it is really laggy. And I remember earlier in my vlog, I was saying that my car felt yeah, really... Did, bro. <laughs> Trying, I'm hot as shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, earlier I was saying that it felt like my car was like struggling a little bit. And I was like really like having to work really hard. And I thought that maybe it was my, my wheels being a different size and like this being like a slower speed track. But I think there is a boost leak and I just never blame the car. I always blame myself. Because <laughs> the last time that I drove it, the car was like freaking amazing, but there probably is a boost leak, so we're going to check that right now. Check that one. It looks like it's coming off of the, the very bottom of the turbo again, but it's still... I mean, it's still on there. It's not completely off, but it could be that. That's moving a lot. So initial thoughts, aside from the boost leak. Car feels sick. Suspension is great. Angle's amazing. Uh, I can feel that when the... If there wasn't a boost leak, the car would be... Insane. Yeah, but, uh, and if there was gas in it, if there was oh, yeah, more gas, gas, <laughs> gas, gas would be pretty cool. Um, but no, the car feels amazing. I like the the seats, the, the angle, just the overall suspension. Everything feels awesome. Brakes are good. Do you think it's comparable to the demo car? Yes. But Aside from the power band. Yeah. The the. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was going for. I wanted it to be like very similar yeah, yeah, yeah. from one car to the other so that when I jump back and forth between the two, they're like very similar. Yeah, they're both, uh, I wouldn't say that they're easy to drive, but um, the car goes where you want it to go. Yes. That's the best thing. Yeah. That's I much, tried. For me, that's what I've always wanted in drifting is point the car where you want to go and that's where it goes. That's true. Know, so that's true. Like, well, I hope you like had a little bit of fun oh, at least. Oh, yeah. Next time we'll make sure there's no boost leak and I'll make sure to put a gas in it. <laughs> yeah. Steven and I were literally on the track and he's like, I'm trying, I was like, go full throttle. Like, I was like, just go, like, do what I do, like, ride limiter if you have to. And he's like, it's cutting out. I was like, just clutch kick. He's like, it's cutting out. I was like, no, just clutch kick. And then realized, we realized that there's like hardly any gas in the car. On our way here, I remembered to put gas in the truck, but I forgot to put gas in the car. And the car goes through gas a lot faster than I'm used to now because I make more power, so. Um, yeah. 
I should probably be done for the day because I don't have any more gas and I'm not gonna like try to make it to a gas station on the street. Um, the car feels good. I'm glad, you know what, I thought that the car felt a little bit slow this morning when I was driving it, but I thought that it was like, oh, new tires, I haven't driven this yeah, track in a long time, like, you know, maybe it's me, like, the wider wheels, I don't know, but I think it actually was a boost leak, and I think it's progressively gotten worse. It's possible, yeah. So. Good news is, nothing is leaking. Other than that, the car feels sick. <laughs> yeah, other than that, the car's great. Status report. We need more. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Right the there. Chops. Either oh, right down the thermostat housing. Okay. Yeah, thermostat housing. Yeah, it's kind of fitting. Yeah, right there, right there, right there. That's leaking, and this is leaking too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All that, and that's your response. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, this track day is getting cut a little bit short, but everybody's cars are breaking except for mine. Uh, my car is currently out of gas because I forgot to put additional gas in it before I left. Uh, my car is just going through gas a lot faster than it ever has because I have more horsepower now. Honestly, just an honest mistake. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put my race car in my dad's enclosed trailer. My dad's gonna drive his E46 home because he still has registration and insurance on his car. And then we're gonna put Steven's car on my trailer because we think that Steven's car might have blown head gasket and I feel really bad that he's gonna have to wait for AAA. So we're gonna put Steven's car on my trailer, take him home, take my race car to my dad's house, drop it off there. My dad will bring it by later in the week and my dad's gonna go home whenever he feels like in the 46. So that's the plan right now and uh, we're gonna start loading up. <laughs> I mean, I could. It does open all the way like that. I'm glad it fits on here with the wide body. Oh, same. Good. All right, so the plan from here is I think Oscar is going to drive my dad's E46 home. My dad is going to drive the Raptor home with my car in the enclosed trailer. And then I'm going to drive the Hummer home with Steven's car on the back because thankfully enough, Steven and I live pretty close by. So I'll just take his car back to my house, probably unload it, and then he can come and pick it up whenever he wants. But this way, at least I can save him a AAA trip. And uh, we might have some hope for his engine. He's had the engine for a long time. It's been really good to him, but his coolant hose popped off earlier today, and I know how that is. I've had the exact same thing happen to me. That's actually how Steven and I became very good friends. So, regardless, um, if you guys have made it this far, thanks so much for watching. I know that this track day got cut a little bit short. Um, it's not my fault, but I had a good time today. I didn't get to do everything that I wanted. I didn't get to test the nine and a half in the rear. I didn't even end up changing tires, but you know what? It's all good. I had a great time. My car was really good. My dad always comes in every time that I start talking too much. Imagine if you actually caught my hair right now. I thought about it just now. I would go viral. <laughs> Regardless, if you guys have made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you click all the internet things below that the YouTubers tell you to do. I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>